started my job at Coleman Advocates for Children and Youth, which I have for 26 years. The first thing I did is come here and read an the Maxwell, so I feel like I've come home. Uh, I bring uh, 32 years of experience building a network and a movement of children in San Francisco that is now a model for the country of how to develop services and programs for kids at the local level. And the, it's changed the face of children's services, child care, preschool, after school, uh, and I want to bring everything that I've learned in those 32 years to the school board. This will be the culmination of my work for children in the city. Uh, and uh, just in case you don't know, I was the director of Coleman Advocates for Children. Uh, we brought all these services to the city. I was the director of the city's Department of Children, Youth, and Their Families for for uh, four and a half years. It's a hundred, oh my goodness, it's a hundred million dollar operation, so we know how to uh, manage budgets. And now I'm the head of something called New Day for Learning, which is uh, an education initiative. I've worked with five of the underperforming schools in this city, uh, figuring out how to transform those schools into high achieving schools. So one of the things that I want to bring to this this job is I know more about getting money into services for kids than anybody in the city, and probably more than most people in the country. I want to bring those skills to the uh, school, to the to Sacramento, to the to City Hall, and really help us raise the money that we need for schools. The second thing I want to do is talk about how do you transform schools, and I'm so excited to be here in uh, Otero Hill, where you have these wonderful examples of two transformed schools, Daniel Webster and Star King. And some of the people who have been involved in that are here. And that is what I think we need to do throughout the city. We have built a community school. We are building a community school with Daniel Webster. Some of the parents are here. And that is uh, one of my major goals, is to mobilize the community, work with all the assets of the community, involve the parents, really have a school that is driven by the community. And Daniel Webster is a wonderful example of how we're beginning I, to really do that. Good question. Oh, You're I'm not sorry. really done. You, you, I'm sorry. And I use it all over the city, by the way, as an example of how, how some of the things we need to do to transform uh -huh. the school. Okay. Are there any questions? You can talk more if there aren't. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a question. I, I will. I, uh, yes. <laughs> um, I am a huge admirer of your advocacy efforts. Um, and I don't, I don't think there's anyone that parallels them. I do believe that one of the concerns that I've heard is your ability to masterfully gather resources. Um, there are a lot of people who fear your presence on the actual presentation. So I'm wondering what you can, can you talk to how you would well, I feel like what I would, thank you for asking the questions. I think I'll be a tremendous asset to the board and bring my enormous ability to form coalitions. I could not have accomplished what I did in the city if I didn't work with every single kind of person, group, organization in the city, really building coalitions. And my ability to do that, I will bring to the school board. I plan to be one of seven people on the school board, but use my leadership ability and my interpersonal skills and. Uh, all the, all the, uh, you know, abilities that I have gained um, on the school board. I think that that is a, a bogus concern. I think it is actually a tremendous asset. Thank you. 